When I found out that this love of my early life was no longer able to be played, I felt that this world had a loss. Atlantic City is very lucky to have this instrument. Many auditoriums, such as Convention Hall, have gone the way of all flesh. They've even torn them down. And the organs with them. And so those are, are magnificent instruments that are lost forever. Today, the convention hall organ lies silent, unplayable, but it can be repaired. A disturbingly high number of historically important American pipe organs have already been lost. Fires, vandalism, neglect and mismanagement have claimed many of the finest examples ever built. In each case, the story is much the same. A pipe organ designed to last for centuries is deprived of routine maintenance. Over time, sections of the instrument become unplayable. Eventually, the organ goes silent, sometimes for decades. Decisions regarding the instrument's future are made by people who've never even heard it. Historic works of art are destroyed or replaced by mass-manufactured electronic imitations. Fortunately, the Atlantic City Convention Hall organ has found new friends and in the most unlikely of places. There was a group on the internet asking questions about it. At that time, I worked half a block from here, and the organist here, an assistant curator, Tim Hogue, was a friend and I would give him a ride home, and as questions would come up about the instrument, I could get them answered and get them on the internet. As this evolved, it evolved into what is today the Atlantic City Convention Hall Organ Society. The Atlantic City Convention Hall Organ Society was officially founded in 1997. The group's immediate goal was the protection of the Atlantic City Convention Hall Organ from further damage, and its ultimate goal, the complete restoration of the instrument. It is our not-for-profit group that is an adjunct of the uh, group that is put together by the Sports Authority that are the people from the public who are cheerleading and pushing the project forward from the standpoint of all the interest the public has in it. And uh, helping them with their fundraising is going to help us. I've done a lot to restore things in Atlantic City, but it's my duty to make the country, the world, and the city know what a treasure this is, and it's got to be brought back. The Society is hoping that this instrument will be restored to its complete playable condition as it was when it was finally completed in the 1930s. We have to do a complete restoration. We have to start ground up because so much of the instrument was allowed to deteriorate. We have sections of the instrument we have to almost rebuild, except for the pipework, because uh, the water continuously damaged it over a long period of time. Why uh, someone didn't just go in and throw plastic over stuff, we'll never know, but they did. On an international level, the Organ Historical Society does its part, calling attention to the plight of the convention hall organ and certifying the organ's historical significance. This organ, built by the Midmer Losh Organ Company of Merrick, Long Island, New York, in the year 1929 to 1932, has been selected for recognition as an instrument of exceptional historic merit worthy of preservation. This plaque is to be held in trust for the Organ Historical Society by the owners of this organ as long as the instrument is maintained in a manner consistent with its extreme historical significance.
The Oregon Historical Society started a citation program 30 years ago to raise awareness of instruments that are of spectacular cultural and historical importance. And they don't have to be large, they can be tiny little chamber organs. But the OHS, through this program, wanted to raise the awareness of the owners and of the musical society in general and the community surrounding that particular instrument. Because if something has come to us and it's one, two, three hundred years old, which means that generations before us have respected it and treated it with care, we need to have the same respect for it to pass it on to generations that are going to come after us. And the citation program is to let the community surrounding an instrument know how important it is and that the community needs to embrace this instrument as a work of art and to protect it. As difficult as it is to imagine, the organ's neglect did hold hidden benefits. In other cases, well-intentioned updates have resulted in destructive and permanent alterations to an instrument's voicing. The convention hall organ has been neglected, but it is, as a result, absolutely original in every sense. This adds additional sensitivities to the restoration effort. Because this organ was neglected over the years and never had the proper maintenance it needed, it hasn't been screwed around with. It's still intact, dirty, filthy, needs a lot of help and loving care, but we have an unprecedented opportunity on this scale to hear an instrument as our forefathers heard it. It's a window into time. It's absolutely essential that the original sound of this instrument be maintained in every detail. The pipes, the wind system, the expression system, all of the other things that contribute to its musical integrity must be maintained exactly with no changes whatsoever. It is important to keep the historical integrity of the sound of the instrument. This is an area that is discussed continuously by people in our business. Uh, where do you draw the line? What is authenticity? How far can you go to improve mechanics, to make it more reliable because we might have a new technique for doing certain things? I have always felt that the history of the instrument is in how the air gets to the pipework and the pipework. That's where I draw the line. If I can take away the difficulties you have in this kind of saltwater environment and do something electronically as far as how the control system works, that's a plus because the hall needs a reliable instrument. The wonderful part about this, everything is still intact except for one relay for the swell the other side of the stage from where we are sitting was removed, but it's intact and it can be replicated by a uh, current solid state relay. It is a wonderful experience to come back here and again sit at the console of this wonderful, wonderful instrument. And I'm so fortunate to have lived to see it getting started again. New Jersey Sports and Exposition Authority has given us $1.1 million to begin the restoration, and we have to raise a lot more. We need corporate, we need government, we need uh, individuals. We need to get our story out there, and then I think we're going to make it happen. Fully funded, the restoration of the convention hall organ is expected to take six years. The sheer scope of the project will necessitate the services of numerous organ building firms.